From the outside, Meghan Markle, Duchess of Sussex, and Sophie, Countess of Wessex, may seem like complete opposites. First, Meghan is so unpopular with the British royal family that she was left out of the 2022 Christmas party at Sandringham Palace. Hello and welcome to Royal Insider. If you're here for the first time, be sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss all our royal updates. Meanwhile, Sophie is loved at Buckingham Palace thanks to her very close friendship with the late Queen Elizabeth. In 2021, an unnamed courtier even told the son, if you were to ask about Her Majesty the Queen's favorite children, it's not them, it's her daughter-in-law, Sophia. The two women's social relationships are so different that it's easy to assume they don't get along. However, the reality is much more complicated. As seen at Queen Elizabeth's funeral, it seems the Duchess and Countess are neither best friends nor sworn enemies. The Express reported that Meghan and Sophie shared a car during the Queen's parade. While one royal expert, Neil Sean, reported that Meghan almost bowed out when she found out she'd be sharing a car with Sophie, another thought the trip went well. Rachel Bowie, co-host of the Royally Obsessed podcast, believes that seeing Sophie and Meghan in the car together. Sometimes you have a strong person in the family who can hold everyone together. Sophia seemed like that person to me today. Overall, despite the royal drama, Meghan and Sophia have managed to coexist in relative peace. Although Meghan Markle and Sophie, Countess of Wessex have had very different royal stories, the two women share a similar past. Neither Meghan nor Sophie were born into the royal family, and both have worked in the workplace for many years. Before marrying Prince Harry, Meghan was involved in more than one line of business. During her school years, the future Duchess of Sussex worked for minimum wage as an ice cream drawer. Later, she tried professional calligraphy, literally, from Esquire. However, Meghan eventually rose to fame on the hit TV show Suits. Also, the Countess of Wessex worked in various fields before becoming a member of the royal family. According to Encyclopedia Britannica, Sophia worked as a bartender, concierge and press officer for Capo Radio in a Swiss ski resort. Like Meghan, Sophia eventually became a successful career woman, she even co-founded the PR firm formerly known as RJH. Unfortunately, neither Meghan nor Sophia will be able to continue working after joining the royal family. As Meghan told the BBC in 2017, she had to transition from my career to the royal role. Also, the Wall Street Journal reported that Sophia was forced into a royal role just two years after marrying into the family. Gave up his company. The media reports that the leaked audio tape revealed too many conflicts of interest between Sophia's business goals and her royal connections.